Hey guys, here we have the new RTX 4070 from NVIDIA. It is the latest release in the mid-range market at US$599 for the Founders Edition. Just like with the other cards, NVIDIA is raising their prices. This 4070 has a 100 USD premium over the last gen 3070. And a hot take here, I think it's justified. Let's get into it. Instead of keeping you in suspense throughout the entire video, why don't I tell you now and then show you. So here it goes. I feel at 599 USD, this card right now is just about right for the market, as its general performance is just 3% short of RTX 3080, while being much more power efficient. On average, we found it to be about 76% more power efficient, which also means it's easier to cool. On top of all of that, you get similar RT performance and much improved DLSS 3. And the cherry on top is AV1 encoder, which personally I'm a big fan of for video production or streaming. In terms of pricing, at the time of writing, finding a new RTX 3080 below $700 is quite challenging, but you could potentially snag a second-hand unit between $400 and $700. However, there are always risks associated with purchasing used products, so if you choose to go down that path, be sure to shop at outlets with buyer protection. With that taken into consideration, $599 US dollar price tag for the 4070 is quite attractive as it delivers performance similar to previous generation's higher tier card, while costing about the same as second-hand units, keeping in mind that the MSRP may not be adhered to, and partner cards are likely to be pricier. So what do you get for $599? With the Founders Edition, you get the tried and true flow-through design, and it's tiny in comparison to everything else lately, taking just, and I say this lightly, two slots. It comes with 12GB of GDDR6X memory on a 192-bit memory bus, as far as connections go, it features three display ports and a single HDMI. Power-wise, it utilizes the new connector, but an adapter is included in the box. You'll need two PCIe 8-pin cables to power this card. We tested its performance using Ryzen 7 Testbench, which features a wide variety of graphics cards. Our graphs are sorted by overall performance, which includes average FPS, 1 percentiles, and FPS per 100 watts combined. This is why RTX 4070 ranks above RX 7900 XTX in Shadow of the Tomb Raider at 1080p, even though it has lower average FPS. Due to its high efficiency, RTX 4070 comes out on top. While this may not matter to everyone, it is essential to understand how the graphs are set up. Additionally, note that RX 7900 XT card's telemetry was not available, so we don't have power efficiency results for these tests. In this instance, RTX 4070 outperforms RTX 3080 by delivering better performance and almost double the FPS per watt. It also fares well against both RX 7900 XT and RX 6900 XT. The narrative shifts in Borderlands 3, as RTX 4070 is ranking drops to align with RTX 3080, but it still maintains 66% lead in terms of FPS per watt. In this case, RX 6900 XT takes the lead by a significant margin. If you are an avid Borderlands 3 player, acquiring a second-hand card might be an excellent idea, as they are also available on eBay for around 4-600 USD. In World War Z, the RTX 4070's performance is nearly on par with the RTX 3080, while RX 6900 XT leads by 50 FPS. However, RTX 4070 still boasts superior power efficiency. As we increase the resolution to 1440p, the RTX 3080 outperforms the new 4070 in both average FPS and 1 percentiles. However, both cards lag behind their AMD counterparts, the RX 6900 XT, which occupies similar price range in the current market alongside with the RTX 3080 and RTX 4070. In Borderlands 3, we observed similar results with the difference between the two NVIDIA cards being 6% in average FPS and 8% in 1 percentiles. However, the new card boasts 52% greater power efficiency, while the RX 6900 XT is closer in terms of power efficiency. In the more demanding title Horizon Zero Dawn, at 1440p, the RTX 4070 surpasses the RX 6900 XT in overall performance, including power efficiency, but falls short in raw FPS. At 4K in Shadow of a Tomb Raider, the RTX 4070 exhibits a higher performance than RX 6900 XT, and due to power efficiency, it outpaces the RTX 3080. In rasterized gaming, the $200 price tag difference for the marginally faster RTX 4070 Ti may not be justifiable. The RTX 4000 series has made significant strides in ray tracing performance and DLSS 3, which includes frame generation. 
in Cyberpunk with maxed out settings and maxed out RT settings. The RTX 4070 struggles to compete with the RTX 3080 and delivers half the frame rate. However, when we enable DLSS 2, the performance gap narrows. And with DLSS 3, the RTX 4070 surpasses 60 FPS while leading in power efficiency. It's worth noting that this card is not really designed for 4K gaming. Nvidia markets it as 1440p maxed out settings. In Cyberpunk, when we lower the resolution, the RTX 4070 achieves over 100 FPS with upscaling and frame generation enabled, while maintaining 1 percentiles above 93 FPS. This performance sweet spot is ideal when paired with a high-end refresh rate monitor. By the way, we have something extraordinary coming up soon, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Now let's quickly examine some productivity workloads before moving on to power and thermals. First is V-Ray Benchmark using CUDA. The RTX 4070 essentially matches RTX 3080, but lags 26% behind the RTX 4070 Ti. In Blender Benchmark with three tests, the RTX 4070's performance is again similar to the RTX 3080, while they fall short in Junk Shop test, it fares comparably in the Monster and Classroom tests. In our custom Blender render, RTX 4070 matches the RTX 3080, which aligns with our earlier observations. So let's proceed from here. Regarding power efficiency, we ran time spiming extreme and measured power draw using NVIDIA PCAT. The average wattage was below 200 watts, and when compared to the frame rates, RTX 4070's performance per watt outshines most of the cards on the list, except for the RTX 4080. As for temperature, our tests were conducting with ambient temperature of 28 degrees Celsius. This graph may seem confusing due to the amount of data, but when focusing on the RTX 4070 and 3080, the temperature difference is only a few degrees. However, RTX 4070 operates at 35.7 dBA, while RTX 3080 reaches 51 dBA, which makes sense given the latter's power draw and subsequent thermal output that needs to be dissipated. In other words, RTX 4070 keeps it cool under pressure, maintaining significant quiet operation compared to the RTX 3080, which leads us well to the conclusion. The Nvidia RTX 4070 proves to be a strong contender in the mid-range market, while being alone in this market segment in the new generation. With $599 price tag, it is justifiable given the performance and features. With performance just 3% short of an RTX 3080, increased power efficiency, reasonable ray tracing capabilities, and the new DLSS 3, it delivers a solid value for its price point. For gamers who primarily play at 1440p, the RTX 4070 is a fantastic choice, offering great performance and power efficiency. Quiet operation is an added bonus, providing more immersive gaming experience. If you are into video production, the built-in AV1 encoder is another attractive feature. However, if the price is much higher or you're looking for cards specifically for 4K gaming, then RTX 4070 may not be the best choice. In this case, you might want to explore higher end options like RTX 4070 Ti or AMD alternatives, or better still, even consider secondhand RTX 3080 if budget constraints are a concern. I hope you found this useful. If you want to check out any of the items code in the video, the links are in the description below. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe for more. We'll see you guys in the next one.